Now that I have a proper scale for my x and y coordinates, I can think about adding axes to my graph. D3 provides a handful of SVG utility functions. Axis is one of these. I can declare an axis to use my scale function as a basis to draw with. I'd like my x-axis to orient to the bottom, so I can declare that too. The x-axis variable is a function that takes a selection and appends lines, ticks, and numbers to it. I'll create an SVG group for the axis to live in and call the function on the selection. The axis, while oriented on the bottom with labels, is drawn in the group which is at the top. I'll just use a translation transform to move it to the bottom. Notice how the axis line at the bottom is thick. That's because it's a path, and the path is filled by default. I don't like that, so I'm going to fix that. SVG supports CSS for many of the properties, so I'll add a class to the axis group. Then I can go into the CSS for this project and tell the access paths to not fill and to have a black stroke. That looks nice. Now I'll do the same for the y-axis. I'll declare a y-axis with the y-scale and orient it to the left. Then, I create another group for the y-axis to draw into and call the function. I have the same path drawing issue. I'll fix it by applying the CSS class. That's all there is to it. There are several more ways to configure the axes, but that is for a different lesson. Next, I'll add some simple animations to this graph.